The world hasn't always looked the same as it does on a map today. Good examples of this change include Pangaea, a supercontinent that existed 200 million years ago, and Panthalassa, the large ocean that surrounded it. They were both discovered by Alfred Wegener in 1912. Wegener proposed a continental drift theory, stating that large pieces of continental crust that was once all together has broken apart forming the map we all know now. Plate tectonics weren't always widely accepted, but some evidence of the continental drift theory comes from a puzzle-like fit of the continents, matching sequences of rocks and mountain chains, evidence of glacial movements, and distribution of plant and animal fossils. This allowed scientists to discover the way mountains and other landforms were created. The plates are floating on the liquid magma in the mantle of the Earth. Convection in the mantle slowly moves the plates. This process is slow, with plates moving only 7 to 11 centimeters per year, but can lead to dramatic changes in the terrain over time. Three main examples of landforms created by plate movements include the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Mariana Trench, and the San Andreas Fault. Now we will illustrate how the three types of plate boundaries work. Today we are going to be talking about the different types of plate tectonics. There are three types of tectonic plates, divergent, convergent, and transform. The first plate boundary we are going to discuss today is the divergent boundary. The divergent boundary occurs when two plates separate, creating underwater volcanoes. An example would be the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The second plate type we will touch on is the convergent plate boundary. These boundaries occur when plates move towards each other, resulting in either subduction or collision, and can create deep ocean trenches or mountain ranges. Some examples include the Himalayas and the Mariana Trench. The final plate boundary we will discuss is the transform plate boundary. In this boundary, plates slide past each other creating earthquakes ranging in size. The San Andreas Fault is a great example of a transform boundary. Plate tectonics can have immeasurable effects on the Earth both on the surface and beneath it. We hope you enjoyed this video and now have a better understanding of how plate tectonics work.